Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to monitor the CPU temperatures for Ryzen processors within Linux. <laughs> now the reason I'm making this video is a reply to this question right here about somebody inquiring about the motherboard I got. He heard that sometimes there are issues with this and he wants to make sure that monitoring the CPU and GPU temperatures is possible with the X570 motherboard and the Ryzen processors. So what I'm going to do is show you two utilities to be able to do that. Now I will note in the description below there's going to be a link that will allow you to download all these utilities and provide you way more information on exactly what everything means. So I do highly recommend you go down below and check that out. But getting right into it, the very first thing we're going to look at is something called LM sensors. Now this is a simple command line program that you could download on any operating system. It works for all Linux distributions. It comes built into Manjaro, so that is nice. So all you need to do to run this is type in sensors into the command prompt. And you can see here I have the adapter and some uh, information on the voltage that I'm getting and then the T die right there is the main temperature you're going to want to go off of when you are trying to read your temperatures. And the beautiful thing about this is you could go ahead just throw this up and you saw just sensors pull it up oh sensors pull it up and you can see it quick easy good to go. The problem with this is it doesn't show much of graphs or history or anything like that it just shows as you hit enter the active temperature right there. Now before we move on to the next tool, I'm going to show you one more, well two more commands. So sensors, and then if you go like this, you can basically put it into a text file. So if, for example, if I do cpu.txt, hit enter, nothing shows up, but if I go ahead and go into my home directory here, you can see I have cpu.txt and then everything is displayed here. Now this may not be your cup of tea, so we have an application called pSensor. You can see I have it running in the background right here, and it does provide you much more detail on, well, the exact same thing the other thing showed, so the T-Die, which is the main temperature you want to go off of. So I'm running at 46 degrees Celsius, 54. I am running screen recording software and a couple of other things, so it's going to be kind of writing up there, but it also provides the GPU temperatures, the fan speeds, and a lot more details. It allows you to select what things or what uh, sensors you're monitoring to put on the graph. You could change the graph colors. It is a beautiful program that I would highly recommend you check out. So that's really about it. Um, like I said, down below there'll be a link for more applications that you could do. These, the only reason I brought these two up is because they work across all distributions, whether that be Arch-based, Debian-based, Ubuntu-based, just about all of them. So check out that link for more programs and a more in-depth explanation of everything you've seen. I hope you have a great day. If you yourself have any questions, I'm more than happy to make little quick videos like this to help anybody out. Uh, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a Manjaro uh, full overview review type video coming up pretty soon, as well as more content that's going to be worth checking out. So I hope you have a wonderful day and goodbye.